Okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at how many molecules of CO2 will be produced if we have 4.2 grams of CH4. It's gonna react completely, and then we assume excess oxygen. So we don't worry about how much oxygen we have in this problem, we have enough. The 4.2, that's just a number made up for this problem. So let's look at a few ways you could do this. What we need to do is we have our 4.2 grams of CH4, that's methane. And we want to get that to ultimately molecules of CO2. So CO2 and particles, molecules or atoms. So in this case, molecules of CO2. To do that, we take our grams, we get it to moles, and then we're going to use the mole ratio. So we've balanced this equation, the coefficients 1, 2, 1, 2. So we can look at the coefficients. We can look at the ratio from the balanced equation. That'll give us moles of CO2, and then here we had moles of CH4, which we can then just multiply by Avogadro's number and we'll get molecules. So that's the plan here. So let's take a look at it. First thing, let's change this here to moles. So we're gonna divide by the molar mass of methane. And if you need help with molar mass and grams to moles, link at the end of the video and in the description. This gives us 0.26 moles of CH4. So here's our CH4, 0.26 moles. And we want to know how many moles of CO2 we end up with. We can see that the ratio is one to one. So for every one mole of CH4, we get one mole of CO2. So for every 0.26 moles, we'll get 0.26 moles. It's a one to one ratio. So we've used our mole ratio here to figure out how many moles we have. Then we just take this and multiply it times Avogadro's number and we'll get 1.6 times 10 to the 23rd particles, in this case, molecules. So that's how we do it. We can use that mole ratio to figure this out. There are two other ways I'd like to show you them. They'll probably help you understand this a lot better as well. We're really just gonna do the same thing we did here though. So let's give it a try. So we've already converted our grams to moles. We're right here, we're gonna use the mole ratio. And we can use the ratio like this. 0 0.26 is to one as X is to one. And if you cross multiply, you have one times X, that's X, and that equals one times 0 0.26, 0 0.26. That's what we found before. Then we could multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's Avogadro's number. That would give us particles. That's another way to do it. It's a good way to check your work. Let's look at one more way, probably the way your teacher might have shown you. It's the same thing again, but just written a little differently. Let's try it. So we're gonna use conversion factors here for the mole ratio. So we start with our moles, we've converted grams here to moles, and now we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor. And our goal is to get these moles of CH4 to cancel out. So we need moles of CH4 on the bottom, and we want molecules of CO2. So we're gonna first need to get moles of CO2, which will then change to molecules. So we need moles on top here of CO2. So we'll end up with moles as the final unit in this conversion. So we just go back to the coefficients. We know we have one mole of CH4 for every one mole of CO2. We multiply moles on the top and bottom, cancels out, and that will give us the moles of CO2, which is 0 0.26 moles of CO2. In that case, we just multiply this times Avogadro's number and we'll have our final number of molecules of CO2. So same basic process, but this conversion factor, teachers kind of like to see it this way sometimes, and they may have taught it to you like that as well. But that's it. That's how we figure out how many molecules of CO2 are produced in 4.2 grams of CH4. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.